crafters welcome to a pocket mini album tutorial in this easy peasy tutorial you are going to learn how to take some chipboard gorgeous papers and some washi tape and turn it into this super cute unfolding wallet mini album and i'm going to be teaching you how to do this i'm shari philomahala here at the graphic 45 office and I'm excited for you to learn how to recreate these cute little gift ideas. Uh, they're also great for you just to keep in your purse and cherish those loved ones. Or you could always uh, challenge yourself and make it a larger size and turn it into an interactive mini album. This is a part of our Club G45 Volume 5 series uh, that's been created by Annette Green along with this stunning wall hanging. So after you're done with this one, if you haven't already created the wall hanging, you're going to want to do that as well. And of course, go ahead and subscribe to Club G45 if you haven't already. It's a great monthly kit program that we offer. You get over $50 worth of new Graphic 45 goodies in the mail each month, along with uh, some scrapbook adhesives, adhesive, a project sheet, and then you get these great YouTube tutorials to teach you how to create new projects and learn new techniques every month. So let's go ahead and get started on this fun project. Let me give you the up close tour of this super cute pocket mini album. It's uh, kind of like a wallet, which it's really fun and it just folds. There's some great sentiments. Uh, both sides are covered. And of course, this nice little keyhole on the front gives it some nice weight that'll keep it shut. So it kind of acts like a magnet where it gives it, keeps keeps it shut and I think that this project is going to be really fun to see um, when people try sizing it up to different things. I think you could do a lot of fun little mini albums with this technique. So let's go ahead and get started. For this project the supplies you're going to need are some washi tape. If you are a Club G45 subscriber you're going to get all these supp supplies in your kit. If you want to subscribe, just go hop on over to g45papers.com and go to our Club G45 section. And we're going to use a, one of these keyholes. We used the other four of the five keyholes in our wall hanging that we created this month with this same kit. Uh, you're going to use one of the Graphic 45 craft chipboard sheets. This is a nice medium weight chipboard, so you can use uh, that if you've got it in your stash. And then we're going to use just a few sheets of paper from our Floral Bloom collection. The four sheets that we're going to be using are Grow With Love, Petal Postage, Dainty Blossoms, and Life Is Beautiful. But of course, if you have a different need for this project, maybe you want to do a little graduation present or a Father's Day gift, you could use uh, whatever papers uh, suit your needs. Step one, we are going to cut five pieces of the craft chipboard to three inches by four inches. And then you are going to cut two little guys and we from the same chipboard and this is going to be one quarter of an inch by four inches and we're going to have two of those. So then you're going to arrange them so you'll have a three by four inch panel. You'll have two of those, one of the quarter inch panels, one more three by four, another quarter inch and two more of those three by fours. And you want to be have about an eighth of an inch of space in between all of those. And then just taking some household tape. We want this to be longer than our mini album. So have a long piece of tape and I am just going to go ahead and place this down, keeping everything how I have laid it. So next we are gonna take our gold washi tape and we want to put a strip over each seam and we wanna make sure that this is gonna wrap around and overlap on the back side, covering 
the full length. So if these are three by four, we're gonna need at least, I'd say eight and a half inches or so of tape to make sure we are covering both sides. And then you'll just do the same with all your seams. Like so. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that that has bonded with the chipboard. Make sure I don't have any air pockets. And then we can go ahead and take this and flip it over. And I'm gonna do the long sides first. And it looks like I am going to need to trim this just a bit maybe half of an inch off, just making sure that we will be overlapping. And smooth out any wrinkles or air pockets and pull this down. And because I'm gonna be adding some paper to my panels, it's not a big deal if they're not matching up perfectly. I'm gonna do the small side again. I think that might be working out better to do the small side first and then the long side. So get that down and then pull up this long side, making sure it's nice and smooth. bone folder does work great. This one does need to be trimmed just a bit. Smooth it out. So now that all of our panels are together, we're gonna go ahead and just fold those, making sure that the washi tape stays in place. You can always just guide your bone folder down to those seams. Since I tore through that layer of washi tape, I am going to just scrap that and get a new piece. And just be a little more gentle next time with my bone folder. All right, so I've got a nice fold on all of our seams. And the last step of part two is just taking a craft knife and a ruler and just cutting off about a sixteenth of an inch of the right panel and the left panel. Because these are going to fold in wallet style, that is just a nice way that they're all going to lay flat. So... Our first cut and then we'll do our second one now, I did not take after my mom in using a craft knife she is the pro and I have it is not my strong suit, but there we have it. We have trimmed off a sixteenth of an inch. All right, so the next step of step three, we are gonna take our gold washi and just have it flush with the top of our right and left panels and flush with the bottom. Just trim that, do it the same over here. And 
trim that so it's nice and flush. And then we'll just wrap this around to the back side and with your bone folder, just burnish that down, get a good connection. Perfect. And now we are gonna do the same with the top and the bottom. I'm just gonna have it slightly go off the edge and I can just trim off any excess. And do the same down here. Gold is such a pretty color. This architecture washi tape also comes in black as well. You could use uh, whatever you have in your stash. You just want to make sure this washi tape is a little bit um, thicker than most. So you just want to make sure whatever you are using that it is going to be able to handle all this movement. And then just fold this over. And then we can work out any air bubbles from here. So with any excess on those corners, just trim off just in a diagonal about an eighth of an inch from the chipboard edge just meeting it in a nice point at the end and do the same on both sides. And then we'll just go ahead and burnish those corners down to have a nice finished corner. So once all of our washi has been added, then we're just gonna fold in our right flap and our left flap, our right again and our left and you should have a cute little mini that looks something like this. Step four, we are going to cut five pieces of Life is Beautiful down to two and five eighths by three and five eighths. And we are going to adhere them onto the outside of our pocket fold mini album. So we'll just add our adhesive and these are gonna go right in the center of each of these panels and since these uh, do have writing in the background you want to make sure those are right side up. For step five we are going to flip over our pocket mini and we are going to cut five dainty blossoms down to two and five eighths by three and five eighths and we'll adhere these on to the inside, making sure our words are right side up, of course. Step six, we are gonna cut some strips of paper out of Grow With Love. These are tiny and cute little strips that are gonna be 3 16 by three inches and five eighths. We're gonna do two of them have this white pink flower with a green border and the green uh, circle on the insides. And the other two, at the same dimensions, three, three sixteenths by three and five eighths. I have these beautiful ombre, white and purplish pink backgrounds. And we are going to adhere the green and pink strips on the inside of our book, our little mini album. And I'm gonna have my green borders just facing outwards. And that's gonna go right on that fourth of an inch strip. Those strips are really great because it lets us fold up this wallet fold album with ease without having any strain on that. So then once we've done that, we can Flip it over to the front side and adhere our pink and purple strips on the front. 
for step seven, we are gonna cut down five pieces of petal postage and we're gonna cut those to two by three inches. And on the inside of our pocket album, those are just going to adhere to our center panels, giving us some great little photo mats. Step eight from one of our cut apart sheets. This one is called Grow With Love. We are gonna cut out five of these cute little two by three pieces. And you can see these are gonna adhere onto the front side of our pocket mini album panels. And you know, I think it would be a really fun idea to um, even alter these and have every other one, maybe have one of these inside and one of the photo mats on the outside and you could have photos and sentiments on either side. For step nine, we are gonna take Dainty Blossoms and we're using the B side of that, that beautiful mulberry wine side and we're gonna cut this to three quarters of an inch by one and three quarters. And this we are going to adhere just on the back side of our keyhole. That way when we glue it onto the front, it'll really pop. So we're just gonna add um, just a bit of adhesive onto the back side of our keyhole and then have our purple facing outwards, like so, and then we can adhere this whole thing down onto our bloom panel. So it's not our first panel, it's gonna be the second one. And so this is important. The keyhole really acts as a nice stabilizer and keeps the whole album shut. So that we are going to let dry there and then from our Life is Beautiful paper, we are gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting just to add a nice little embellishment. And you can always add some more flowers and other things to the panels, or maybe after you add your photos or sentiments, it's a great time to add in your extra fussy cutting. I'll show you how to fussy cut this one here. So we're gonna loosely go in here and grab our image. And then we can put this whole 12 by 12 aside and now we just get to work with this small little piece. Butterflies are easy to fussy cut, which is great because they add so much to our projects. A lot of our Graphic 45 collections have beautiful little butterflies in there, so you can always pop those onto a card or a scrapbook page. As you can see, I'm just mostly moving my paper and letting my scissors just sit still. And now that I have that cut out, I am going to just pop up my wings and I'm just gonna glue, you can see the body of my butterfly. That's where I'm going to add my adhesive. And this butterfly is just gonna take flight just off to the left-hand side on our bloom panel. Cause again, that is gonna be the front panel once we're all folded up. That's a little confusing since it's not this one, but it uh, folds in like a wallet. So just wanna be sure we're gluing everything onto the right panel. And then this tiny little guy is gonna go into this top corner here. Like so. And then once those dry and the keyhole dries, we can kind of shape those wings a little bit more. But once you're all done, you'll see we're gonna just fold our right panel in, or our right panel in and our left panel in. And we're gonna fold in that right again and fold that together. And you have the cutest little accordion pocket mini album. So be sure to share your projects with us on Instagram and Facebook using that Graphic45 hashtag or the Club G45 hashtag. And if you want to try this in a larger size, we can't wait to see uh, what that looks like as well. So share those projects with us. And thanks so much for joining us. Happy paper crafting. Bye.